Now in this section, I'm going to speak about two more commands. One of them is extrapolation. One of them is, uh, let's see, it's going to be boundary. And to show this to you, I'm going to remove one of the extras that I have here. For example, this second extra, for example. And I delete this. And instead, I'm going to add some more items to this sketch. So I double click on this sketch. I'm going to select profile command. I start from here, go to here, and again, select the tangent curve and click here and press escape. And what I'm going to do is to make sure that this line and this line are as tangent. So I select this, press control and select this and release control. I go to here and select tangency. That's okay to change it. I don't really care about the shape. And now I exit my workbench. Now you can see that I have different parts here. As a matter of fact, it was chosen um, as a complete profile, but you can see that there are separate lines that have created this profile for me. Now if I go to insert, go to operations and select extrapolate. Extrapolation, as a matter of fact, is kind of extending. So let's say that I am going to extend this part. So I go and click on here for the boundary. Now you can see that it gives me some extension. Let's say I want to have something like 50 millimeters of extension. Right? Uh, one thing that is interesting here is the type that we have selected. As a matter of fact, I have selected length, but I can have up to element. If there is another element here that can limit this, I can choose that. But in my case, there is no more elements here. Let's go down and examine some other things here. You can see there is a propagation mode and it says, which is none. This means that only the line that I clicked on that is going to be selected as the boundary. But let's say that I'm going to select tangent continuity. This means that any line that is tangent to the line I selected is going to be part of this extrapolation. And you can see that because these two lines are tangent, they have been selected for me. And the next item is more interesting. It is point continuity. If I click on that, it would be something if uh, there is a you know curve that leads to a cusp or something of course it's going to give us this but let's say mm, there are you know some parts that i can correct it for example so if the operators here it says you know it will be corrected for me but let's say that i select point continuity and all the uh, you know, all around the surface that I have selected is going to be part of the extrapolation. But in my case, of course, it's going to give me some error messages. And it can be fixed, of course, but in my case, I don't really care about that. So I can close this and go for other types like tangency or none or something like that. So this is extrapolation. It says extend extrapolated edges. I can click on that and again, it's going to give me the same preview that I have. Also, I have some continuity here, like curvature and tangency. Also, extremities that I select. Right now, it is normal. And of course, that's what I wish to have here. So let me cancel this out. I don't really want to go for extrapolation in this case. What I'm going to do is to create a boundary. How can I create a boundary? And later I can use that boundary, of course. These boundaries that I create are kind of uh, child elements to the shape that uh, they are created from. So if I go to insert and go to operations, I can go here to boundary command. And you can see this is very similar to what we had before. Again, we have propagation. So if I click here, you can see that the propagation, it is point continuity. This means that it's going to go all around the point that I have until it reaches to itself. I can select tangent continuity. You can see that because now in these edges, I don't have any tangency. It is limited to this part. Also, I can select complete boundary. Again, it is exactly the same as point uh, continuity in my case. Or no propagation, only the line that I clicked on that is going to be selected for me as the boundary. And also I can select some limits. Let's say that I'm going to create some points on the shape that I have. How can I do that? Let me cancel this out. I'm going to go and double click on the sketch that we had so that we are here to kind of, you know, 
I'll change it. I'm going to add two points. So I select this and I'm going to have one point here. And again, I'm going to select point command and click here as my second point. So I exit my workbench and it says super loft operation. The profile is not homogeneous because of the points that I created. I don't really care about this. So let me exit this and, and I'm going to press control C. And what I'm going to do is to create the points some other place. Let's create the points here. So I just click here, type C point. And it says, do you want to have coordinates? No, I really want to have on a curve. So I select tangent to curve. And what is the curve that you are selecting? This is my curve. And uh, now what is the direction? That's okay. For example, here, and the point is going to be created for me like this or let's say that I'm going to select on curve say so, so this is the curve that I have selected and this is the point that I created for me I click on OK and you can see there is a point here I'm going to activate this command one more time and again this is the curve and this is the point here okay now I have two points created for me what I'm going to do is to go to boundary command one more time. I go to operations and select boundary from here. It is point continuity, but they can have some limits. Let's say my first limit is this point, and my second limit is this point. And based on that, you can see that the boundary that we are creating is based on the points that we have here. So I click on OK. Now that I have this boundary, I can go to extrapolate command one more time and select extrapolation based on the boundary that I have here. So the boundary is going to be this one. And you can see it is selected as boundary that I created here. And let's say I want to have something like 50 millimeters of extrapolation. So you can see these two are kind of related to each other, but they are very, very versatile, very, very, uh, you know, agile, very, very nice to work with.